Jürgen of a girl. I'm here in Ardmira in convoy mid Donegal today. We were canvassing in Lifford there last night and we met two young families who both of them have been on the housing list for 10 years. Married couple, young kids, been on the housing list for 10 years. They can't get a house. And see this place here, Ardmira in convoy. Behind me there's 12 houses which is uh, reserved and used by IPAS, International Protection uh, Accommodation Service, have been taken over by people claiming to be uh, asylum seekers. Uh, many, some of them are from Georgia. Uh, some of them are from other countries who speak perfect English with English accents. So they obviously spent a long time in England before they came to Ireland. It kind of precludes that they came from a war zone into Ireland. So they all have free accommodation, free medical cards. Uh, the kids, actually, I was here, and there's a lot of children here, there's at least 60 children here, all off to school. There's a guy here uh, on Facebook. He's down as Sean Kafkaf. There's a number of photographs of him. Uh, seemingly he's Algerian, he's with an Algerian flag. Yeah, there's a number of photographs of this guy with a Kalashnikov rifle, with th various types of rifles. Now, there's a guy who goes around with Kalashnikov rifles, and he doesn't look like an Islamist. He's well-dressed in nice cars. Uh, he's been in London as well. There's a picture of him beside London Bridge. Uh, very nice cars. A uh, number of photographs with Kalashnikov rifles. And we, the guy... Does he? We should ask a question. Does, is there war going on in Algeria? No. Is there war going on in Georgia, as some of these people are from? No, there's not. Even the ambassador from Georgia said that there's no problems in Georgia and there's no circumstances in which any person from Georgia should be asking for asylum in Ireland. It's a lie. It's a farce. And the Irish government is disgraceful. It is treacherous when it takes in these chancers and liars and economic migrants and puts them at the front of the queue and gives them free accommodation, free health care, free everything. And Irish people, just like those people I met last night, are last in the queue, it's paddy last, and they're waiting for houses for 10 years while someone who tells lies just walks into the country and gets free stuff, all thanks to these politicians. Roderick O'Gorman is Minister for, for Children, he's also the Minister responsible for IPAS and the only way we're going to get the situation to stop this, what is a second plantation of Ireland. Actually, that phrase was used by Mary Magalise, actually. Uh, but the percentage and the numbers of people who came here in the 17th century in the plantation of Ulster is much less than what is happening in the last 10 years. So our children, well, we are the people, the people who go to work are the ones who pay the taxes to provide the houses. I'm here also beside a graveyard. And we, when we look in the graveyard, it was our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents who built up this country to provide a better future for ourselves. So our families have built up through, contributed through generations, built up Ireland. And yet these people who've contributed nothing to Ireland uh, get free stuff and it is disgraceful. I saw an article today in the Irish Independent that there's been a huge reduction, 43% of young people, young professionals are leaving Ireland because they can't get accommodation, they can't get well-paid jobs. So they're leaving our country, they're leaving Ireland, the country of their birth, which they love, and their families are born here, and they're moving off because they, they can't afford a house as these people come in from around the globe and are provided free housing at our expense. And do you know what? That's not fair. What's in this for Paddy? And that's before, after we talk about the economic cost and the social cost of our young people leaving, we also have to ask the security cost, uh, not only for now in the coming years, but also in generations to come. The damage this will do to the fabric of Irish society. To move from a high trust, low friction society to a multicultural society which is constant aggro and friction between various groups. It's not fair on ourselves or on our children. So my name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. I'd like to think very seriously about what I'm saying. Gora Magaza, Slanis Bannock. Bye, go on.